This is Maker Stories, told by Indie Do Good, the dot-com home of makers and independent entrepreneurs who are driven, driven with a purpose. A place where every purchase comes with a do good, a donation to your favorite charity. The makers movement is real, and it's here. These are their stories. This is Farinita, Joy McBreen's vision of women investing in women, a concept she believes has the power to change the world. So far, she's impacted the lives of over 8,000 women in nine countries, living in some of the most impoverished regions in the world. But this story of empowerment begins from a dark place. So I started Farinita because of my own history of rape and sexual violence. And I felt moved to work with women who had have who had similar histories, right? I felt like I became so powerless. I, I needed to regain some of that power and self-confidence. And so I knew that I needed to take action on the issue of violence against women in order to heal personally. Um, we learned that financial insecurity is the number one reason why women stay in abusive partnerships. And because of that, we sought out to work with women with these histories to create economic opportunities through fair trade jobs. So at Farinita, we pay at least three times the minimum wage. We provide health insurance for the women and their children, as well as educational scholarships for the women and their children. I mean, that's amazing. Thanks. That's, that's fun. Are you proud? Yeah. Yeah, I am. But I think, I mean, it's, it's been a selfish thing, too. You know, like I, I've needed to do this for myself and for my own healing. And I've had the real privilege of being able to, uh, to connect with thousands of women around the world who have been in these situations and I've gotten to learn so much from them. And now it's like, how could we not be doing this? You know, like we're working with these women. We can see the impact that it's creating in different communities. It's so fun for me and my team here. We're designing products. We get to tell customers about it here. We're, we're really trying to figure out how can you change supply chains so that you're empowering women rather than exploiting them. Right. right. And so we've got this like kind of big audacious mission, but we're seeing the community really come around it. And so once, you know, you just get more and more support, it's it's just fun. Any a couple of stories come to mind that are stand out in, to you? We, we sell an entire collection of jewelry that's actually made from recycled bullet casings by women in Ethiopia. So this is a group of about 150 women. They were ostracized because of their HIV status, but now, you know, they, they've been so resourceful in figuring out how do we make beads out of bullet casings, which is cool, I think, um, creating new life from something that was harmful, right? Um, and because they've been so resourceful, now we can partner with them and we can say, you've created these amazing bees. Now let us partner and come up with some cool designs that we can sell a ton of them in the United States, which is what we've ended up doing. Can I just point out, it's like, once again, taking a negative, turn it on its head, taking a bullet. And yeah. turn it into something beautiful. Yeah. Women are good at that. Men too, I bet. No. <laughs> I just know women. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Joy gives a lot of credit for Farinita's success to her friend and operations manager, Anna Badala. We caught up with her in the Indie Do Good Distribution Center. You'll get the stuff that doesn't have a bin number on it quicker. How is it working with Joy? Oh my goodness, Joy is my best friend. So we get along really well. We've been roommates and coworkers at other jobs and I've just kind of followed her along. And um, when she asked if I would would work with her, I just jumped at the opportunity because I'd, I'd wanted to be like working with her for a really long time. And there weren't many opportunities early on just because it was so small. But then she moved to Chile and needed someone to help with operations here in Minnesota. And yeah, that person was me. And it's just been, it's been a dream. Well, and just so you know, she says she couldn't do this without you. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> and the, the overall mission here, women empowering women. Yes. I mean, how is that to go to work every day knowing that's your mission? I mean, it's it's such a dream. It's really, really fun, and I just love my job. I love what I do, and I'm really, really lucky. One of the 8,000-plus women Farinita has invested in is Moon Sharma from Delhi, India. With 12 time zones between us, we connected via Skype. I must say we are we are very fortunate to have a fair Anita as our partner. It's it's a shine in the lives of many women because it's not uh, only giving work; it's working together and sharing your lives. 
Going full circle, we met up with Mary Jo, a longtime customer and fan of both Farinita and Joy McBrain. So when I first got here, you you made the comment to me, and I had to laugh. You said that you knew her when she was just a young kid I, with a bunch of ideas, and she still is. And she still is a young kid. I know, absolutely. I mean, think about that. Think about that. This young woman. Yes. The effect that she is making yes. on the world. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm just in awe of her in so many ways. I always say I want to be Joy when I grow up. <laughs> And I'm grown up, but I would like to be Joy. This is Maker Stories, told by Indie Do Good, 